So Dirk in his presentation started discussing some really useful things for the web developers and all the platforms that are being developed for smart cities, which has to do with the complexity that is generated from the different vendors because they develop their own uh, solutions to submit or to collect data around different types of smart services. This complexity actually, which was depicted on, uh, on his very insightful uh, slides, showed us that regardless the solution that is being developed, this solution generates data for the smart city environment. This data, according to so far um, developments, is quite isolated or uh, does not respect the existence of other types of platforms, of other types of solutions, which generates another complex smart city environment. And uh, the value of all this data, which is delivered to the smart city environment, has to be utilized somehow. So far, the solutions that have been developed by cities in order to utilize the value of the different types of data which is submitted in the city deals with the development of a smart city platform which tries to visualize data from the physical space like parking slots like street lights or energy consumption or traffic or existing path routes of uh, taxis and vehicles, of people in different areas. But if you think what really happens in life is that the city has a platform like that, but on the other hand, a city utility like water utility has another platform, the energy utility has another platform, the, mobi the mobility as a service has another platform, so a new ecosystem of different platforms that visualize the data from different vendors is another complex environment. And this is really hard to resolve when you want, as a city owner or a city government, want to make decisions based on this data. Or if we think of AI that wants to uh, undertake some duties, based on this data. So how we can resolve actually these issues? This is the problem that comes from the complexity of all these different types of solutions. And this is the reason that we are here actually to, to provide with a kind of solution according to our understanding. What happened so far actually is that some uh, hard to make and very demanding um, standards for uh, data flow management generate other complexities. One of these standards is FIWARE. Perhaps you know that, but this brings extreme demands about how vendors have to compromise to the FIWARE platforms and has not become a universal standard so far. This is another complexity. And if we go to Metaverse, which is from its definition, a very demanding environment that wants to collect data from different sources, we have to deal with this issue. This is a definition for Metaverse, which is really new. It comes from the International Telecommunications Union and says that Metaverse is an integrative ecosystem of virtual worlds. So we have to think of several Metaverses in the same environment, offering immersive experiences to users, we discussed some of these things that modify pre-existing and create new value from economic, environmental, social, and cultural perspective. As you can understand, this definition is quite generic, but it brings to life that metaverse combines different types of virtual worlds, generates new products, digital products, new services, and offers new kinds of opportunities. And if we go to the city area, we have the cityverse which is a subcategory of metaverse. This is another definition. 
it's under standardization. It has not become a standard yet, but this is the outcome of, again, of the International Telecommunication, Telecommunications Union. A subcategory of metaverse representing and synchronized with physical city spaces and their community counterparts to offer new and improved capabilities to cities and communities. It does not bring something new. It actually says what Metaverse does, but in the city area. What we have to think is that we don't have to deal with a digital twin, which means we don't have to think of a virtual city in a virtual environment, but different metaverses that exist in the city. And this definition actually tries to compromise around the existence of different types of virtual worlds that exist right now and perhaps coexist in the future. Let me remind you that the reason that I'm going to, to deliver this presentation is to deal with the problem of data flow complexity. And uh, the optimal thing that we could think is that we have, uh, how beautiful it would be if the smart city would operate like a hub. And if we could, any kind of data vendor would go there just with its cable and plug to this hub and deliver data directly to the smart city, regardless the device, regardless the original sensor that collects data and transmits it to the system. This is the idea, how we can develop a smart city hub, which cannot be, at least for now, a different device offered to different to thousands of, of vendors, but it should be a software system that can collect data from everywhere as a black box, regardless the the device, regardless the technology, regardless the format of the data that is being collected. Let's see what this dev device would look like. It should be like that. And as you can see, it can connect different providers, data providers, and uh, different data users that would have access to, to this type of data. And the machine, an engine, would decide what types of data flow from where to where. This is the idea. And in the case of Metaverse, this would be really useful because the different virtual worlds would decide what types of data want from the city space. Let me show you three different types of scenarios that could work. For instance, the first one is that Different, as you can see, sensors could generate information about network coverage. As you can see, these two different sensors, which means different technologies, generate data about network coverage. Network coverage means telecommunication network coverage. They are connected to the smart city API, SC API is, let's say, a generic API. What brings to life this API is that it will not standardize the structure of data that is being produced by the vendor, by the platform, by the sensor, but it will standardize the packets that are being delivered to the to this, to this hub, delivered to the smart city. I don't know if you have any idea how these are transmitted, but it actually comes a layer up to the, the format, to the package format, and homogenizes the way that are being collected. In this case, two different packs about network coverage are being delivered to the API, which, has, which are transmitted to the gateway. The gateway should be considered as, as typical gateways in the city that collect information. And as you can see, they are going back to the IOTs. The, the funny thing is that we can also 
use different sensors to collect the same type of information. We, we can think of parking sensors that provide information about temperature, for instance, and environmental centers, sensors that collect the same information about temperature. So in this fact, a client would need information about temperature in the city. And this information is being delivered by the gateways in the city regardless the source of this information. And if we decide what kind of taxonomy, of data taxonomy should be exist in the city, then we can imagine a catalog of different types of data that are available. And so a consumer could gain access to this taxonomy, to this type of information, plug his application to the SC Hub and collect only the type of information that is needed. And if someone wants to transmit information to the smart city, again uses this taxonomy of the available services, which can be updated and include new type of service that should be delivered, and plug his application there or his device there and transmit this information to the smart city area. As you may can understand, this would simplify things. And we have developed actually the prototype, which is launched and collects information from four different cities around the world. Let me name them for you. The first one is located in Greece. It's a famous smart city story, it's Trikala. The second one again is from Greece, is the second biggest uh, city in the country, Thessaloniki. The third city is Geneva, where uh, sensors are installed on cars and collect information about traffic. And the fourth city is Taipei in Taiwan, which collect information about water consumption from the water utility. It also provides information about parking spaces. How uh, our solution works, it brings all this information to the SC Hub, it has homogenized the packets that are being transmitted to the SC Hub. So if someone wants to collect information, for instance, about parking spaces, think of the scenario, we can find parking spaces in four cities. Again, if you are a developer, let's say of a mass application, Regardless the city you want to offer your application, it works the same way. You don't have to, to develop something new. This solution homogenizes data from four different cities, not from a single one. So it could be from four different metaverses. When we come to the same city, let's say in uh, Trikala, we can collect information from parking sensors from environmental sensors and combine this information and provide a single source for, for information about temperature, about parking. It depends on what kind of information is being submitted to the system. Our future works, as you can understand, demands to generate a huge taxonomy of the different types of smart services that can be deployed within the smart city, which is under development. And we want to scale up the, this smart city as hub architecture. We have the prototype, we have tested it, actually we're testing it in four cities, and want to scale up and uh, develop real scenarios. We expect that all this solution can be um, can become ger generic and can be employed by any kind of city all around the world. We will provide this solution on the Git GitHub in order to be uh, generally adopted. And we have also secured its standardization, the SC Hub standardization. Uh, recently, the United for Smart and Sustainable Cities, which is um, 
a union of standardization bodies, the ITU, ISO, IEC, have um, agreed on the architecture of the Smart Cities Hub and about the way it works and homogenizes these packets. So this was my presentation. I hope you, will fi you found it of interest. I am here for any kind of your question. Thank you.